see, can you hear me? Yes, you can. All right, good afternoon, YouTube land, Facebook. Hope everybody is doing well um, and enjoying this holiday uh, weekend. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed my Thanksgiving, getting to see family, relaxing, not having to do much, not being on screens, trying to keep all my responsibilities at bay so I could just have a few days to myself to breathe, and I truly appreciate it, and it was amazing, and uh, Sunday, getting ready for the grind back again. Um, hopefully, there'll be no issues with this live. My other internet devices are acting up. Apple TV is not behaving. I'm like, mm, I don't know what's going on, but um, thankfully, my computer's still working, and so is Restream. So we're going to be able to, you know, do the things today on the live. So as you can tell by the title, this is going to be a makeup dump. It's funny. I did a video like this last year, got all the makeup together and put it to the side like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to throw it out. Never threw it out. So today I actually have the garbage pail next to me and you will be hearing things actually going in the trash because that is the only way that I can actually get rid of stuff. So I have a, four bags here, I would say, of things. So, um... I'm going to go through everything, talk about what it is, if I'm going to keep it, if I'm going to trash it, and basically what the situation is. So, um, as you know, I will definitely give an disclaimer now. Um, the average makeup product is good for a year. Um, if it's powder or uh, like an eyeshadow palette or like a cheek blush kind of powder, you may be able to use it for two, three years. But um, after that, you are definitely... Um, using mold and bacteria and all the things that can cause acne, cause skin discoloration, scarring, infections under your skin. Just it's not healthy to be putting old makeup on your face. So you too should be doing this um, periodically going through your kit, your collection, and just disposing of those things that are no longer new enough for you to healthily be still using it. So first thing going in the trash is Glowish by Huda Beauty. This is the Luminous Press Powder. So um, this stuff is basically for people with super dry skin. Um, I did not use it that much, but she's old. So she's definitely getting chucked because she definitely makes your face glow, as the description says. So she's going in the trash. Um, definitely regret buying that. Um, Huda Beauty, there's not many things besides Tantor. There's not many products of hers that, um, let me fix the back. There's not that many products of hers that are like amazing, amazing. I love it. Can't live without it. So, um, that's that. This is super old. This is Too Faced, um, Born This Way Foundation in the shade Chai. This is one of the extended shades from Jackie Ina. This was a perfect match for me, but this is definitely, um, cake face situation. I do not wear a foundation that thick anymore. Um, thankfully I've been delivered. Um, in the same vein, we have the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Butterscotch. Love this when it was like the all this highlighter. I still do that look. I, I don't care if that's Instagram makeup. That's my favorite go. But um, she's super old, she's going in the trash. Estee Lauder Double Wear. This being you gotta buy the pump, this stuff is so thick. If you want a real full coverage look she's the girl but it's too much makeup for me and she's super old i've had that thing for at least four years um mac face and body foundation i'll probably buy a new one of these but this one is just super old look the, it's only the ma the mac is gone that's how long i don't had that so she's going in the trash next is long comb tote Idol 24 hours this is another one you can see it's starting to separate and whatnot um and it's almost done anyway she's super old so she's going in the trash but top five best foundations ever in existence. All right. Next we have um, this. I feel like I just got. Yeah, this is relatively new, so I'm keeping this. This is Laura Mercier. Um, uh, the set, the translucent powder. This is just the pressed version of it. So um, powders you can keep a little bit longer. Like I said, I feel like I just got this. Um. So I'm going to keep this. She's relatively newish. Um, going in the trash is Separati Marc Jacobs. These lip glosses are so cute. This was um, Some Girls. Some Girls and Love Spell were my two faves from that. Um, that's going in the trash. Uh, 
oh this is super old this i don't even think the packaging looks like this anymore this is the mattifying face primer so a lot of this stuff is from three four years ago when it was all about the ultra super glam super matte makeup um i do put a little so i do have like um mattifying setting kind of powder on my face now but i like kind of this natural sheen look where you can see the light is still going to reflect your skin still has some juices in it but this whole parched dry face that's not what we're doing anymore um i'm getting all of these together so i can throw them out at once um or at least the ones I oh here's another Marc Jacobs. This is taboo. So she's going in the trash also. That's super old. But these are the lip bar. What's the name of these things? Liquid eyeshadows. So I've had like eight shades of these. Um liquid eyeshadows were a thing. Um people we were obsessed with them. You would just put it on and it would be like a chunky little glittery eyelid. Um these things are dried out uh and old, so they're going in the trash. Um, ch -ch -ch -ch, fix the trash bag. Okay, this is Hourglass Stick Foundation. Um, what shade was I? I was the shade Almond, and it was a perfect little triangle shape, so that way you could like get all up into the exact places where you need coverage. I love a creamy stick shadow. This was slightly drier, but still creamy enough to make it work. Um, match sticks. Foundation Sticks by uh, Fenty. Those are the driest, most horrible things ever. But I would recommend the Hourglass one. I like it. Um, here we go. This is a Fenty Glow. This specifically one is... This specifically. This specific one is super old and dried out and used up. So, um, yeah, this one is crusty, musty. So, she's going to go in the trash. Um, next, we have this YSL. It's a little mini. A Rouge Couture. I can't even tell the name of the formulation or anything, but it's a full lipstick. But I know for a fact I bought this. Uh, I bought the YSL lip kit for Christmas in 2020. So that's very old and would probably make me sick. It probably smell bad. Here's another one. Let's sniff it and see what it smells like. Oh, God. Decomposition. But they look so pretty still, right? You would think, like, let me put this on my lip. But if you smelt it, you would be like, oh, yeah, girl, that's two years old, not used. But, um, yeah, um, unfortunately, I definitely need to check myself before I wreck myself. This is so much makeup waste. And um, thankfully now I'm a lot, I'm a smart shopper now. So I really only buy what I'm going to actually use and not necessarily just things that I think are cute. So, again, another smelly lipstick because she's old. Um, if you don't use your makeup, it starts dying and then it's not a good look. Um cream fenty this is uh what shade she still smells normal um honey waffles i have, think i've had these for like a year pretty sure you're only supposed to keep lip glosses for oh damn there's a little pot on here i just can't read it i think this says nine months so we're gonna go toss that um same thing with this one diamond milk um this one was not my cute on me at all um oh interesting that was said nine months but the glossy bombs the regular ones say 12 months but um i just don't like the shade in general so i'm gonna toast it anyway um oh this eye primer this is super old <laughs> it's funny it says keep this for six months and this one is two years old you even feel it's like a little extra fat because of the gassiness of it all but um i want to smell it now i'm like oh yeah she's she's done She's done. But this was the Anastasia Beverly Hill Eye Primer. Um, works really well, but if you put it on, you got to do a full lid look because this stuff will give you ashy McAshy lids. Um, these are the lip stunner paints from a couple of years ago, that little Christmas set with the, I think it was four of them in here. Um, uns I think there was a little uncensored, and that was probably the one that I actually ended up really using going in the trash. I actually have a lot of old lip stunner paints here that I don't use. Um, they are beautiful and, um, they're a great lipstick, but, um, the red, the uncensored, uncensored, the lip stunner paint in the shade uncensored, I find is the only one that's worth having the real dry lips for. So the rest of these are going to be trash. 
for me. Um, this is a super old, again, another two, three-year-old uh, matte dazzle glass. So she's going in the trash. This was a shade Moth to Flame. So, um, oop, that sounded horrible. I really love, love um, Mac Dazzle glasses. That's like one of my faves. Um, this is Co uh, Contempo from ColourPop, one of their lip pencils. I know I don't even think these look like this anymore, but this one is super old and stinky. So like I said, I think this is like three, four years old. So she's going in the trash. Um, next, we have some Mac lipstick. So we have Neon Modesty and Modesty, which is a cream sheen. Oh, this sucker it looks brand new. She doesn't have any uh, stinky fragrance, so I think I'm going to save her. I think this might be a newer one. don't remember when I got that. Neon Orange, this one is going to be old, super old and used up. Yep, so she's going to go in the trash. Um, next, we have um, Cream Fenty Beauty. What was this? Fruit Snacks. I just bought this full collection, but I never really liked this shade. This and the Honey Waffles, I didn't really like. So, um, But it's interesting that the cream ones expire in nine months instead of the 12 months. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. This is Taupe from MAC, one of my favorite lipsticks. This one is super old, um, so I'll probably have to go buy a new one that is not growing a beard. All right, so, so far we got two things in the little save baggie. Now we're on to our, did I finish this bag? Yep, I finished that bag. So now we're on to the third bag of things that should have been through in the trash. Oh, some things are still in boxes, so technically I'm going to keep them and then open them and see what they look like, but they might be too old. I still might have to trash those too. Um, oh, this is funny. Um... Matte Cream Blush in Crush on Cupid. So this definitely expires after a year. We all know when these came out. So this is over a year old. So she's going in the trash. But um, these were very hard to work with. They didn't have that much color, a lot of layering. You had to do a layer of um, product and then set it with setting powder and then another layer in order to build up the color and the lasting power. Too much work for a blush, um, and I now am finding I like either powder blush or liquid br blush. The creams just aren't that girl for me. Um, this is Embark for um, MAC. Um, I'm going to back to MAC. Am I going to back to MAC this realistically? I'm a bad person, y'all. We'll see. Unfortunately, the closest MAC to me just went out of business. So... Um, yeah, it's a little more difficult to do those kinds of things, but I've had that for eons. Um, ju -ju -ju. All right, so we got some more stuff here. To be honest, I don't even remember when I got these Pat McGraths, but I feel like I'm going to keep them just because I like the packaging and they're cute. We're going to open them up and see what they smell like, what they look like inside. So this is the shade Omi. This is the one after um, Naomi Campbell. They actually don't have any scent at all. And they're still swatching creamily. So I'm going to keep these. I don't think they're as old as I think they are. This one is Christy. The expiration for these is 18 months. So I do think I bought them maybe a year ago, but I think I have more time. So that's Christy. Um, which that's why you got to read and check these products because every expiration is different. Just like I said, the fact that Fenty creams expire in nine months, but Fenty traditional gloss balm lasts for a year. So reading the stickers on your products is really going to be important. And then this one is Polaroid pink, and this is like a bubble gummy pink. That one. So I haven't really been into lipsticks for a really long time because I have dry lips. Um, anything that's like painful or doesn't feel good on my lips, I don't really like to wear that stuff anymore. So that's it. This is Subculture by Gem Cosmetics. So this is like a purple, a bright purple. I've had this one for a really long time. So she's going to have to 
go to the makeup graveyard. Um, this is Twig, which is a satin by Mac. This is another old one. Ooh, ooh, and she smells bad. Lord Jesus, this thing is so old. So, like I said, the longer you have it, these things start to break down. It is not good for your body. And it's funny because they're pla because they're made of like oily, plasticky materials. They quickly go back to smelling like gasoline or whatever plastic chemicals they were born from. But it's really bad. Oh my gosh, that thing cleared my sinuses. You would have thought I sniffed some Vicks or something. Oh gosh. Ooh. I'll be careful with this old makeup. I'm just over here putting my nose and everything like it won't, like I'm immune. But we'll see. Okay, this is just a bag full of lipsticks that I said. These are probably, if you saw my last clean out from last year, you're probably like, all this stuff looks familiar. It was supposed to go in the trash in um, 2021. Kimberly, why do you still have it? Because sometimes I have hoarder like tendencies. <laughs> yes. Uh, thank you. I know it is funny, um, but we'll see. Hopefully nothing else is that old and smells that bad. Um, but we'll see. We definitely, uh, this is our third bag. Oh, Lord, that was bad. Okay. Um, honey bun from Bare Minerals. Um, of course, I'm like, should I sniff them all now? Okay, this smells a little bad, but it's not that bad. But this is also another one that is super old. Um, it. It's so old that I don't even have the expiration date on that one anymore. So she really got to go. Um, this is from Inglot. I'm so sad that Inglot went out of business in New York. So this one is 12 months expiration. I know I've had this for way longer than 12 months. But it was like a funky blue color. But it wasn't the right blue for the blue I needed. Like I needed like a royal blue. If you know, you know. But uh, no, that's trash. Um... Oh, this is almost done, but it's definitely trash. Uh, sandalwood beige. This is my favorite lipstick from Re uh, Revlon. Sandalwood beige it is a cream. Revlon makes the best drugstore lipsticks. That's the lipstick here. I'll even swatch it for you guys. Oh, that smells horrible. I probably shouldn't have rubbed that on my skin. When I have, when I have, I'm telling you guys in the next video about how my hand is breaking out. You guys are gonna know it's from all these old lipsticks. Um, this is Barbara. From NARS, remember years ago, what is this, 2018, 2019, they had that collection and all of the shades were named after people. So I don't know if that's lip liner, if she's changing colors, but she's definitely going in the trash. Um, and I really wish I would have kept up with doing this better because then I wouldn't have had so much drama when it comes to it now. Um, Night Blooming by MAC, this whole container is sticky. Um, here, I'll try to open it for you guys. There we go. The Mattine lipsticks, which was like Fenty uh, copied these and then come up with their little Mademoiselles because that was all the trend back then. Got another one that's super sticky. This is Nocturnal Instincts. I think this is like a pasty, like pink, purple color. So that was definitely a trend. So... These lipsticks are dating themselves because that had to be, what, 2018, 2017 when the little super skinny matte lipsticks were cool. Um, Red Racer. This is another thing that's probably from 2016. Ooh, and she smells like it. Uh, but this is my favorite red from MAC because it was a satin finish, but it was the same color as Ruby Woo. So uh, held on for that way too long. Also, a special collection. It was like the Sailor packaging Um some kind of nautical theme that I was obsessed with. Um, Punk Couture from MAC. This is a matte from them. It's a super deep purple shade. Probably wore this like three times. Because it makes your teeth look yellow. I don't like those kinds of shades. Ooh, Viva Glam 1. So this is something I could just get at MAC anytime. So she's old and... Ooh, she smells... Uh, this is definitely uh, oldie but goodie. Um, all the Viva Glam traditional shades are a good investment because they're very wearable. Uh, Cream Sheen and Glamour Days. I used to love this one too. But again, this is another one that, um, as you can tell by the packaging, this is something that MAC doesn't even make anymore. So it's that old. But, um, okay, the next one is... Blue Bang. This is funny. 
on um, National Lipstick Day, if you go to MAC and stand online with all the crazies, back in the day, they used to give you a free lipstick. Um, oh, this one won't even swatch anymore because it's that old. But um, see how it's like all patchy and stuff compared to the other ones? Yeah, because she's old, old. But one year, I just decided National Lipstick Day, I was just going to not do anything. It's just stand in the mall and stand in line. I think I stood in line for at least five or four or five hours trying to get it. And, um, oh my gosh, hot, hot core. This was every Black Friday, Mac used to release a black shade lipstick. And this was the one from 2018, 2017. No, it has to be way further than that. Maybe 2015. But, um, we were done buying the same black lipstick every Black Friday. Lord, I wonder if they still do that. Um, this is a perfect day amplified. I don't know why I ever thought I could wear a lipstick that was this color, i.e., why it's covered in lip liner and changing colors and whatnot. It was a crazy time in makeup before. I tell you, heroin. This is my favorite matte from MAC purple shade. I love this shade. Oh, this smells bad, so I can't keep it. But heroin is the purple from MAC that looks good on every skin tone. So if you are whether you're light, dark. Um, heroin looks really pretty on everybody. So this is Cosmo, which is an amplified. I think this was a, like a pinky one. I had liked this one a lot back in the day. Let's talk about makeup archive. But um, like I said, uh, as you can see, this is way too much stuff that I'm going through. So be mindful of what you get. Use your makeup so you do not have a makeup graveyard. This is retro by MAC, but I feel like this has changed colors. This was not the color I remember retro being. I don't know, maybe I was blind, but oh, barely will even swatch, but I'll try to. So that's retro at the top above the other colors. But I feel like it was more pinky. I don't know if it changed over time or what, but I don't think it used to always look like that. But I love retro. Retro, taupe, girl about town, angel, heroin, my favorite um, MAC shades. This is Violetta. Violetta is like heroin, but it's amplified with like a little glitter in there. So um, heroin is a matte, I think. Or is it a cream sheen? I don't remember. All right, so that was the third bag. So now we're going to go on to the final and last bag um, and go through the thing. So, so far, uh, this is what I have for my keeps. So it's a lot less than the things. And like I said, a lot of the things are new. So this I'm keeping. I don't know how this ended up in the makeup graveyard bag. This is one of my favorite powder brushes. I'm mad I can't find it. It's technically a bronzer brush, but I use it for all over face powder. This is a Sephora Pro Collection brush number 80. So it's super fluffy and soft, and I love that. Um, I don't know how that ended up in here. All right. These are compact. Compact powders you can keep for like two years until they start getting gross. If you live someplace more humid, you definitely have to be careful for mold growth within the compact. So you want to monitor them, and see what they look like. If there's anybody furry on it, that's going to be mold. And then you're going to want to um, toss that. Oh, I'm looking at some of these powders, and they do say 12 months. I did not know loose powders um, expired that quickly. Seems like some more people are going to be going in the trash than I thought. All right. Um, oh, this is e some of this is easy. I could do quickly. Um, it's so many compacts I'm about to see, though. All right. Hmm. Okay. Let's start off with these. This is Hourglass Radiant Light. The ambient powder in the shade Radiant Light. I've had this for a really, really long time. Um, she's going in the trash because she's way past her expiration date. Yeah, this expired after 12 months, and this thing is at least four or five years old. Jesus. Same thing with her. Um, this is MAC. Fix Studio Fix Powder. You can see the the A in the MAC is gone. I used to run this baby into the ground. Now this thing is, I don't, I don't think, feel like it's too light even if I wanted to. Also, it's a really thick powder. I mean, it's a powder foundation, so not really for me anymore. 
Um, this is definitely going in the trash. Trophy wife loose powder. Why was there ever a time when I thought that I needed holographic gold? Loose makeup powder. Now, I gotta be careful because if I spill this stuff on my computer, I will never forgive myself, but it's going straight in the trash. Um, yeah, we used to be putting glitter all over our faces. And in that same vein, that's what a lot of these products are now that I'm going to be throwing out because I just don't, I'm not about the glitter makeup life anymore. And these things are way past their expiration date. This is the judgment-free zone, okay? But just so you know, um, this one even starting to change colors. Uh, this is Trophy Wife Kilowatt Highlighter. Remember those days? So she's going in the trash. Ooh, I should just actually, I'm going to just do all the kilowatts together. I think I got one thing here I might keep. And even that is saying 12 months, and I know it's way older than 12 months. Kilowatt in the shade, what a brat. Going in the trash. Kilowatt in the shade, Ruby Riches. Going in the trash. The thing with the kilowatts is a lot of them, they were too glittery to really be highlights. And I just didn't want to have to carry multiple of them to make eyeshadow palette looks with them. Um... This is Mocha Mommy Sunstalker Bronzer Powder from Fenty. I bought this when it first came out, so she's super old. She, that's crazy. Um, same thing with this. This is Freestyle Cream Bronzer in the shade Chocolate. Oh, I'm a little fuzzy. Let's see. Come on, camera, focus. All right, maybe if I put her up there, she'll focus. Boom, there we go. Okay, so this is, see, almost hitting pan, but I still never used it. Um, Once I got the Huda Beauty Tantor, I like that better, so I stopped using it. I stopped using the Fenty because the Tantor was a better shade for me, and it blended more easily. This is a MAC. Um, oh, I guess I should stick with Fenty. This is a Fenty Diamond Bomb in the shade Cognac Candy. This is my favorite one. If any of them I were to keep was this one, but I could already tell it's starting to change shape and color. Because again, this was a keep it for a year and it's been way longer than that. Rose Rave. This one was a little bit better for cool skin tone, so it never really 100% matched me. So um, never really got into it. I really got to do better because this is not good that I have all this unused makeup. And like I said, that's why I don't even buy as much as I used to because this is ridiculous. And um, But I also cannot destroy my skin using expired makeup. This is Royal Icing Diamond Bomb. Doo -doo -doo. Trash is at capacity. How many carrots Diamond Bomb? This was another one that was like why did I think this could work for my skin tone? This is when I was just buying everything Fenty because I just wanted to try it and have it for the channel and be first, yada, 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 all that stuff. Now I'll do a Fenty video. Y'all don't even care, which is fine. Just listen, times have changed. Uh, this is a, a extra dimension skin finish in Glorify. This has to be at least seven or eight years old. This is so old. But I used to love extra dimension skin finishes. I actually probably should go to MAC. And as I say, I need don't need to buy no more makeup. I should actually go to MAC and see what the new shades of those are. No, but this is um extra uh, whisper of guilt, extra diminish, extra dimension skin finish. So this was like a true gold. This was one of my favorite ones. Also very old. And then um this is Fairly Precious, another extra dimension skin finish. This is like a peachy one. Wasn't really too hot on this one, but I tried to make it work. And then lastly, we have um, AJ Crimson uh, Bamboo Powder. Rest in peace, AJ Crimson. I don't think I could throw this out because I'm sentimental. I'm going to see if it smells. No, it doesn't have any smell. I'm keeping it. 
I can't believe he passed away. He was so young. Okay. So, next portion of the last bag. Which is going to be very, very interesting. Because some of this stuff is like a quick, oh yeah, throw that out. No. And then something I might have to vacillate a little bit on. We'll see. So, last baggie of things to go in the trash. This is a penny for your thoughts. Penny for you thoughts. This is a kilowatt foil highlighter. So it was too dark for me to use as highlighter, but too light for me to use it as contour. Also, it was filled with glitter. Um, this is fake relatively. This is not new, but it's fake relatively new. Uh, I have a Pat McGrath blush that I'm fishing out. Is it a blush or a highlighter? It's a highlighter and golden nectar. Um, this is, it says 18 months. I don't remember when I got this, but I feel like Pat McGrath kind of just dropped these. I don't think anything from Pat McGrath is that, that old. So I'm going to keep it. Um, what I am going to throw in the trash is this Lorac Meraki palette. Um, it was a good palette, but I've had this way too long. And it needs to go in the trash. So a lot of the shades, unfortunately, because it just doesn't, it's not a uh, women of color friendly, this whole little area over here. And then some of these in the middle. So, um, but the ones that I could use, you can see I was digging in. Okay. The ones that look good on my skin, but i um, going to put her in the trash. These are absolutely going in the trash. This is the number one way to get pink eye or to end up in somebody's, um, urgent care, being sick with infecting yourselves because you're using old eyeliners. Definitely not good. Um, so these are mostly Urban Decay 24-hour glide-on pencils. And then I just have one um, Silk Me L'Oreal pencil. So all old, all got to go. Now, this is where it's going to be a little interesting. So this is definitely old. This is the Snap Shadows by Fenty. But... um. I love to travel with these, so I kind of don't want to toss them, but I also know that they're old. So, um, here, let me try not to blind y'all with mirrors. Actually, how about you take them apart? There we go. So, this one's number 10, and then this one's number 9. Um, yeah, 12 months. They're old, and I don't use them anymore. When I used, I used to take them when I traveled, but now that I kind of do this, uh, I put the foundation powder on my lid, contour powder in my crease, and then the highlighter in the corner and my brow bones. And that's usually my vacation eye look. So I don't even take eyeshadow on vacation anymore like that. Um, and there we go. That is it. Um, I pretty much have cleared out everything except for this is the baggie of stuff that made it. Um, so that was a pretty good clean out for um 2022 um i do still have a full makeup table for the stuff i need to go through so there probably will be a part two of this video but um thank you so much for joining me as i went through all of my things and try to clean up my makeup um definitely it's not a resolution because i feel like if you say resolution it automatically means you're about to fail but something I want to improve on for 2023 is being more intentional with the makeup I purchased, making sure I finish everything I purchased, and being thoughtful about kind of what I'm getting for the channel and stuff like that and how I'm using it. So um, if there are any makeup, I'm trying to think this year, I don't think there's any makeup purchases I regret. Um, there were some things, the Ease Light Foundation caused my acne to flare up. So I'm kind of disappointed because now I'm like, I could use it, but I got to use it more slowly. That way I don't cause myself to have pimples. Um, but uh, I don't think I have any huge makeup regret purchases that I got for 2022. But if you do, leave them in the comments below so we can talk about it. Maybe it'll help me remember something that I bought that I'm like not even thinking about. But um, thanks so much for watching the video. Um, replay crew, if you watch this later, like I said, in the comment section below, let us know your biggest makeup or hair or skincare purchase regret for 2022 so we could talk about it. Um, make sure you subscribe to the channel. That way you won't miss out on any of the great videos that I make for this channel. Um, hair, travel, makeup, tech, fashion, all the things. And um, subscribe. That way you can support the channel. It's an easy and free way to help support. 
and um, help us as we continue our push to 5,000 subscribers. So we got a long way to go, but I really appreciate all the support and for watching. So thank you so much and enjoy the rest of your weekend. Okay, bye.